All right, so for my setup, I went with the PD4135KV Power Control Center. This is the instruction manual for the 4100 series. I spent a lot of time uh, working through how to set this up. And I thought I'd go through uh, one, to be able to help anyone who's trying to set this up. And then two, to be able to come back and look at it again in case I have forgotten anything. So let me go through what I have uh, set up here. Uh, I did put the lithium battery in the back under the bed compartment area. And that is the back side of the control center and obviously the front side. So, <clears throat> all right, so let me set this up here. So basically two sides here, the AC side and the DC side, but down here is the converter. So AC, converter, DC. Uh, it has room for three one inch breakers. The first breaker has to be a 30 amp breaker. Let's get the break, uh, breaker holder there. And uh, this is for your incoming shore power. The next one, actually, I put in a split breaker, so two 15 amp breakers. One of these breakers has to be dedicated to the converter. So it has to be a 15 amp breaker for the converter. And that's this singular black wire coming out here, going into that 15 amp breaker. The other 15 amp breaker I have set up for uh, two outlets right now. I have a single 15 amp breaker here. I could put in a split one here, but I've left it at this point because I don't have too many things to um, to power up in here. All right, so now you have, uh, you know, with AC, you've got your three wires, you've got your, uh, your uh, neutral going into this bus bar. You get the ground going into the bottom bus bar and then your hot, your black, is going into your breakers. All right. Um, the, like I said, the converter comes over here. And then I've got my DC side. Uh, 40 amp, uh, which is, uh, this is for the battery. I'm skipping this one here. This is a heavier gauge wire uh, to hook up something uh, I think it goes up to a 30 amp rating. And then I have uh, three, um, three of the branches being used right now. I still have two more here that I, I don't have hooked up for uh, to anything right now. I put in fuses based upon what I'm running off them. And I just need to know your, your amperage for that. I've got a lithium battery. And the key with the KV power control center is to turn the switch to the lithium switch. All right, now I'm gonna try to show you in here. The switch uh, is right next to uh, the letter S1. And the switch has to go to uh, up, and depending on which way you're control center set up the switch has to go to uh, uh, close to the, the heat sink all right yours may be labeled mine's not labeled and I did send a picture to the progressive dynamics folks I did just confirm that I'm turning the switch to the right position all right let me get to it all right, it's such a small switch back there I'm going to try to point it out. Uh, but it, the key is it comes set for uh, lead acid as the default. And so that's, I can't get it focused in there, but that's the switch. It has to be switched upwards right there. Mine is labeled S1. 
and just had to switch it towards the heat sink. Okay, once you have that, your LED um, indicator on the converter actually does not uh, work at that point because it doesn't, the wizard apparently doesn't work for the lithium batteries. It'll work for EGM. Okay, now on the back side, what did I do over here? So uh, these are the branch DC cable, cables coming out. All right, on the back side. So you don't have to do any solder. Okay, if you get your cables coming out here, the first red one goes to your battery. The white one also goes to your battery. So uh, set those up correctly. The next uh, branch is a heavier gauge red. And again, that would be if I have a little heavier load, but right now I'm not using that. And then there is uh, the four black 14 gauge wires coming off. And as I uh, connect those to power, and then I run them up to um, whatever load I'm, I'm, uh, I'm running off on that. All right, for the battery, I did put in, I put in a main off switch. Okay. And I put in a 50 amp circuit breaker for the battery. So those are actually connected. And uh, notice I have this in the, uh, under the bed. So I would get to that from here and be able to reach in and uh, be able to turn uh, the battery off if I need to, or be able to access the uh, switch. Obviously I just need to lift the bed up to, to be able to get to that. Okay, so uh, what else I want to tell you? Oh, oh I didn't have to put in the bus bar for the DC negative. So everything coming back is going to this bus bar and I still need to ground this to the frame. So um, I just need a little bit more 10 gauge wire. I ran out, so I'm waiting for that to come in. All right, so what did I do? I, uh, I set up all of uh, my plugs right now are, are on AC. So I have this AC plug. I ran another AC plug over here. Also has USB chargers. Put another AC plug up front. Again with uh, USB chargers. And then I also built a charge center up here. Where I have an AC plug. The rest of this is powered on DC. So DC USB ports, DC center, voltage, 12 volt output, and some more USB ports. Yeah, I do a lot of USB ports. I got a lot of things I gotta charge. Garmin devices, in reach, bike computers, all. So I wanted to have plenty of those. I also wired in uh, these lights separate, more USB ports. And I put those lights up front as well. I ran uh, my one uh, branch up to my uh, switches up here, which will control my lights. Now that's going to be handy to have. Now, what's interesting is I turned them all off. I still have blue light on. And I was thinking maybe I don't always want to have those blue lights on. So I did put in a switch to break that. So that's just a switch to be able to turn those off. But at that point, obviously the switch will not work. So I'm not sure I'm crazy about this switch, but the idea is there just in case I don't want to have the, uh, the blue light on continuously. Okay, I think that's it for the uh, PD4135. Thanks.